this is a case of uh, another fetal anomaly in which in this uh, position you are seeing the fetal head which is uh, and brain which is normal but you see that if you want to take the bipartial diameter in this and uh, it will take it from here from here if I take the bipartial diameter the age of pregnancy is 6 months 24 weeks BPD is 6.0 corresponding to the gestation age of 24 weeks so the cranium this is the uh, fox cerebri, the central epigenic line, and these are the thalami, this is the CFPs. So this is the sylvian fissure. Cranium is well formed. Now, from here onwards, you see that this is the only fluid pocket available in which umbilical cord is seen. This is the only fluid in this <coughs> in the uh, in the gestational sac, this is the only fluid. So this is a case of uh, an hydramnios rather or oligohydramnios. Placenta is anterior wall, and as we uh, move towards the portal region, what we are seeing is that this is the heart and this is the liver. This is the liver. This is the umbilical vein. This is the liver. And uh, this is the heart. As you can see, the uh, cardiac flicker in it. And these are the bowels. No, these are the bowels. The liver, the bowel, and this is the ascitic fluid in which uh, the bubbles are matted together, the, uh, the uh, liver, you see, it's seen. Now, it can be a case of uh, omphalocele in which liver and bubbles are protruding outwards from the anterior abdominal wall. So, this that will be one option, one possibility. The second being fetal ascites. So this is the lung tissue, this white area, this triangular area. And uh, so these two triangular areas are the lung tissue. This is the bubble and uh, this is the liver. This is the heart and the cardiac activity in this case is One sixty three to one sixty five beats per minute, and the waveform is regular. One sixty three to one seventy beats per minute with regular waveform. size of the heart is normal.
So. With the uh, oligohydrin neos. And if you're seeing the urinary blood in this area, this is the cervix. This area is the cervix. This one. With closed arms. And you can see the placenta covering the. This is the placenta tissue. Let me magnify a bit. Here you see this is the placenta. This is the placenta. This white band that you are seeing. This is the myometrium. And uh, here you see that it almost uh, covers, placenta covers the internal house. This is the internal house. This area. This is the cervix. This is the cervical canal. This is the lower leg of the cervix, anterior leg of the cervix, the cervical canal, those arms, and this is the placenta tissue. So this is complete placenta previa, anterior, anterior complete placenta previa, and uh, with very little fluid seen, amniotic fluid seen. So this is the second uh, problem that we are seeing in this fetus. Now from epigastric region scanning downwards, I do not see any, so far I have unable to see any limbs. No limbs are seen here, here rather, there is an impression of, uh, yeah, this is, here we are, here we are. giving it a sweep from the left to the right side again I don't see anything except the gastrointestinal sac, the placenta, the liver, the bowel, the fetal head, the heart, that's all. From epigastric region down to the To the uh, suprapubic region, I get only this. I get this is what we can see. So there is fetal uh, ascites. and we can see liver, power. None of the other structures are visible. The amniotic fluid is present in this location. So here it is. It is. No, this is the ascitic fluid, sorry. And in this ascitic fluid, we see the heart pumping. Here you see. You can see the heart. And this is a magnified view. See the liver. Liver through fluids, through a psychic fluid. Now, had it been an exam, uh, an omphalocy, in that case uh, the liver would have not been uh, surrounded by this black fluid, except this black area which is all fluid. Rather, it would have been protruding from the anterior abdominal wall and the bowel would have been accompanied, accompanying it. So all the structures are within the abdominal cavity in which you can see, we can see the thorax in which we did see the lung, the heart, that is normal fine. In the abdomen, we only see the liver and the bowel. Now one interesting thing which I could tell you is that the fetal liver has the ecogenicity 
and detected that of the uh, adult liver. Adult normal liver also shows the same echogenicity. Now this is the mother's liver. See the echogenicity and texture of mother's liver. Now compare the echogenicity of the fetal liver with that of the mother's liver. So both have the same echogenicity, equal brightness, and both have the same equal texture, homogeneous. Uh, the test area is homogeneous and these are the vessels within the liver. These are the vessels within the liver. So the fetal liver has the echogenicity equal to that of the adult normal liver. Okay. <coughs> A patient with oligohydramnios, number one, anterior marginal placenta, two, three, tachycardia, four, sinus tachycardia rather, four, well developed liver, matted together bowel, surrounded by a cycle, is the, now this is the liver. These are the bowels. This is the fluke. <coughs> this is the fluke. A cycle. And this is the placenta. This is the portion of the head. So this is the case of fetal ascites with oligohydramnios and with the no formation of the limbs, fetal ascites. find limb formations, we don't see any limb formation, no skeletal picture is seen, rather only a single sac filled with tube is seen and this is the photo picture that is in front of you, having said again, saying again that there, there is anterior marginal placenta in a 24 week gestational age of a fetus. Uh, in which uh, the placenta is uh, grade 2, but anterior ma complete marginal crossing the internal loss, cranium is uh, well developed and uh, there is uh, fetal ascites covering the, uh, surrounding the liver and the bowels are matted together, otherwise no organ formation is seen and uh, this is the uh, wall, abdominal wall, anterior abdominal wall. Oh, sorry, this is, uh, yes, this is anterior abdominal wall. There is no limb formation, limbs, no skeletal formation. And uh, there is anhydramnios because of these uh, pathologies and uh, that anomalies rather that we have seen in this case study. Mind it that this is for this, this flat area. Thank you.